Hey guys, what's up? My name is Trix aka Nico and today we're going to talk about the spook event yet again. Pretty sure that a lot of you already know me from my last video that I did on the spook event a couple of months back, but since I still get a ton of messages and comments on the, exactly that video, I wanted to make an updated version on it since some people actually don't think it's even possible anymore. I'll prove exactly these thoughts to be wrong in this video and I really quickly want to mention one last thing. I want to grow on YouTube, but YouTube doesn't really seem to like me. Therefore, the only way for me to reach people is for me to ask you guys to subscribe. I really hate it when people do that, but since there isn't really another way, obviously only do it if you enjoy what you see, but here's the reminder. If you enjoy what you see, then feel free to subscribe and keep up with what I'm posting. Okay, on to the video. The Spook Event or Spooky Festival is an event that happens every Skyblock year or every five real life days. During the event, you're able to obtain candy from monsters killed and exactly that is what players are after. These candy sell for a lot and the event even comes with a leaderboard to even hand out more rewards for people that place good on it. There are a ton of strategies to get a good placement on that leaderboard and there are a ton of ways to improve your chances of getting candy with armor or items. With that said, I'm here to talk about a method that I didn't invent but show off a couple of months earlier. This method was the skeleton and wolf method of the main hub island. And I actually still use this method up until today and I've gotten 6 skeleton horses, meaning more than 2400 candy, out of 8 events that I actually have been participating in since my last video. The last event that I actually participated in, I actually reached the 3rd place with more than 3300 candy, even with me getting blocked in the last night. This method is possible due to the skeleton's ability to respawn a couple seconds after they died if their bone didn't get picked up. The only downside to this is that they only spawn at night, meaning you can use this strategy only 50% of the time of the spook event since it lasts an hour, which is 3 nights and 3 days in Skyblock. Therefore, the substitute for the days are the wolves in the ruins located at the castle in the main hub island. Another thing to mention would be the fact that the event starts at midnight and the skeletons spawn at 7pm until 6am in the morning, which gives you 5 hours of in-game time to prepare for the event. And what exactly I mean with that is something I will address later on in the video. So now that we know what the method is about, how do I actually use it? First up, you will have to prepare for it by getting armor and items to get a higher candy drop chance. The most important thing is probably to get a spooky armor or a bat person armor, as well as a candy talisman, ring or artifact since those increase your chance of getting candy during the spooky event. Another thing you could aim for, which I haven't mentioned in my last video since it actually wasn't even out back then, is the pet pet. I'm aware of the fact that people dislike the bat pet and all these tiny boosts, but in the end, if you actually want to succeed in the event, the more candy chance you have, the better you'll do, even if you're facing any sort of issues during the event. So now that you're well equipped, the last thing you would want to find is a splash. Most importantly, speed potions and combat potions wouldn't hurt either. After you got a splash, you will have to move on to probably the hardest bit, finding a private lobby. And don't click away, I'm going to explain what I mean with that. Last time I showed off a completely empty lobby and said that it's basically a requirement to get a chance to using this method. However, since they changed the amount of private lobbies, this isn't really possible anymore. No idea if they're ever increasing the amount of lobbies again or if it'll stay like it is right now, but the idea now is not to find an empty lobby, but a small one. Even if you have a couple people in the lobby, you will still be able to get a ton of candy because not everyone that actually is in a hub lobby uses this method anymore. Multiple people do revenants or only wolves during that time, which means those people aren't actually in your way except that they're in the same lobby making you think you would want to switch. So to explain it the easiest way possible, find a lobby and either ask or check for yourself if someone is standing on the field in front of the big gate or if they are using the skeleton method. If that is the case, then just simply move on. Another big thing to know is if there is someone or you see someone come to your field, staying is probably the worst thing you could do. It is far better to search for an empty lobby and waste time searching than to share or use a field with multiple people. Now that we have found an empty lobby, we can start preparing the area. And what do I mean by that? Like I already said, you have 5 in-game hours before the event starts from the moment the skeletons start spawning, which gives you a lot of time to prepare the lobby. The reason you would want to prepare the lobby is because you want to group the skeletons to get them as close to each other as possible. This is done by getting rid of your intimidation, talisman, ring or artifact to let them target you and run after you when you move away. 
Another really important factor is to fill your inventory with random items to not accidentally pick up their bones, since like I already mentioned, they will respawn on top of their bones location after a certain amount of time, obviously only if you don't pick them up. The reason you would want to group them in the first place is to get the arrows to bounce from one skeleton to the other by using the piercing enchantment without actually having to shoot multiple arrows. Another reason for why we want to do that is time. The time for an arrow to travel from your bow to the skeleton doesn't seem like much, but the thing is, if you shoot and kill the skeleton, exactly that moment when it gets killed is the moment the timer starts on when the skeleton is going to respawn again. This, however, means that the faster you kill the skeleton, the faster it'll respawn again for you to kill it again. If you now have to aim for skeletons and always have to draw back your bow, this will take up way too much time in the long run for you to even be able to get the skeleton horse pet, the reward for people getting more than 2400 candy. The grouping is a quite simple yet complicated process. Another reason why you want to group the skeletons is because there are certain spots in which skeletons are able to spawn. These spots are filled if a skeleton that already spawned on top of it is still in the area. If you now move them away from this spot, it will open up for another skeleton to be able to spawn there. Obviously there is a limit as to how many skeletons can spawn in the entire area, but you will have a higher amount of skeletons if you group them and move them away from their spawn spots. So now that we talked about why grouping the skeletons is so important, let me just really quickly show you how I did it. To move them, like I already said, you will have to get close to them and when they target you, you would want to run away for them to follow you. This is very easy and if you have speed potions, since you can run around quicker, the movement kind of makes a circle where you basically run in a circle until they are all grouped up in one spot. Another important thing for you to know is if a skeleton doesn't seem to be targeting you or it stops being interested in you, the best thing for you to do is just kill it and let it respawn. Skeletons tend to lose interest very easily easily, but if you kill it and they respawn, right after they respawn, they always take a tiny step into your direction. And to clear the air about this grouping stage, it is by far the most important factor of this entire method. Mastering this is probably very very good to learn for you, which can also be trained on nights where the spook event isn't happening. Every night at 6am, when the skeletons stop spawning now, you will just go over to the wolves and start killing them until it's 7pm again to then circle back to the skeletons, grouping them again and repeating this process until the event is over. Since there is a lot of people who would want to join and try to ruin your event, the best thing for you to do here is either offer them money, since if you get 2400 or more candy, you will get a million coins anyways, or to simply swap lobby. Like I already said in the beginning, I was placed third on my last attempt and and even on that attempt, I was blocked for the entirety of the last night. I'm aware that the last night is only half of the time of a regular one, since the event ends at midnight again, but this is just for you to see that getting blocked, especially if you're well prepared, is something you shouldn't worry about too much, since mostly one or two good nights are actually enough to get the skeleton horse pet without a problem. With that said, it obviously relies on your preparation, but if you're only aiming for a skeleton horse pet, this method is absolutely perfect for you. Since it's easy to use, like I already said, and it still works. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you still have questions or want to check out the other video, then feel free to do so, the link is down below. For questions, you can follow me on Twitter or join my Discord. And if you did like the video, then show it by hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And since this is basically it, thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.